I'm Norman Askins. I'm an architect and architectural historian based here in Atlanta. I wanted to welcome you to the ICAA Classical City Guide. Here we are in Midtown Atlanta at the very famous intersection, the corner of Peachtree Street running north-south, and to my left, uh, Ponce Leon Avenue, that's how we say it in Atlanta. Immediately behind me is Atlanta's first luxury high-rise, known originally as the Ponce Leon Apartments and now known as the Ponce Condominium. Built in 1913, the Ponce Condominium was one of the first buildings in Atlanta to show that luxury living could be done in close quarters. The front facade gently curves around the southeast corner of Ponce Leon Avenue and features a two-story high colonnade with six paired and six single Tuscan columns stretching from tower to tower. It was designed by William Stoddard, a New York architect who worked all over the East Coast, though it was the South where he truly made his mark. In fact, one needs only turn the head across the street to another Beaux-Arts masterpiece by William Sauter, the Georgian Terrace Hotel, completed a few years before the Ponce in 1911 and intended to be the southern interpretation of a Parisian hotel. Built from brick, marble, and limestone, the hotel features, like the Ponce condominium, both paired and single Tuscan columns. Distinctive turreted corners jut proudly out into the intersection. Markedly different from the Beaux-Arts styling of the Georgia Terrace Hotel in the Ponce, the Fox Theater was originally conceived as a home for Atlanta's Shriners organization who looked to the ancient temples of the East to inspire their buildings. With soaring domes, minarets, and sweeping balconies, the influence of Islamic and Egyptian architecture immediately apparent. Such was the scope of the original building that it became financially untenable for the Shriners and it was leased to William Fox, who turned it into a theater, or what they would have called in that day, a movie palace. Inside, the auditorium replicates an Arabian courtyard complete with night sky full of stars. Moving a little further north takes us to another beautiful Shotzi building, the Temple Synagogue. Shotzi masterfully blends classical design with religious motifs. Finished in 1931, the well-proportioned building features a pedimented portico, ionic columns, drum dome, and vaulted and domed sanctuary. Of particular note is the intricate plasterwork on the interiors of the sanctuary's frieze, cornice, vaults, and dome. To the northeast of Midtown, we come to yet another fabulous Schutze work, the Villa Apartments, built around 1920. The front of the 25-unit apartment is modeled after the entry of St. Cecilia in Rome. It is a quintessential Beaux-Arts building featuring many hallmarks of that style, such as the symmetrical facade with paired columns flanking a round arched opening, masonry walls, coins, and carved and decorated garlands. Interesting to note, is that the building, when originally built, was actually designed for young bachelors, which when I was in college I tried to rent, but that didn't work out. They didn't want college students. As we conclude this video, I want to stress that this is by no means a definitive list of all the great buildings in Atlanta. Many more lurking out there for you to discover on your own.